Hello, I'm Matthew from BlueVox.fr, and today I'm going to give you an, uh, an overview of Genesia, which is a drafting game and an expansion game. It's for 1-5 to five players, ages 14 and up, and it plays for around 20 minutes per player. So this is a game about uh, drafting cards, and these cards are going to give you abilities that in turn allows, allow you to colonize and expand over your own continent, but also the mythical island of Genesia and the other continents, the other players' continents. So you want to do that to score the most victory points at the end of the game. Every player is going to have a secret uh, objective, which is an additional way of scoring. And you're going to score points according to this and to those scores you will have with the cards and finally about the, the areas you control at the end of the game. So we will play in three ages and in every age we are going to have the same steps. We are going to draft, then perform actions, then perform an end of age step. So the drafting phase is very simple. You're going to be dealt six cards and you're going to select one of those cards, pass the cards to the next player and everyone is doing the same thing at the same time and you will uh, select five of the six cards and one is going to get discarded at the end of the round, at the end of this step. So you will end up with five cards and you will move then to the second step which is the round itself. So during the, the, the round itself, the first player, let's imagine it's me, uh, as shown here, uh, we will perform a few things. We will have first the growth phase, then the expansion phase, then the assault phase. So during the growth phase, I will be able to play all of the cards that are uh, marked with the growth symbol here. So this one needs to be paid. I pay one to the bank. And this gives me uh, two clans in a uh, one uh, numbered area. So I will play that card, pay its cost, apply its ability, and then it's going to be discarded at the end of the round. If it has a light bulb, it gives me additional victory points at the end of the round and at the end of every age. So this one gives me one additional here and then I may pay for new clans. So I will be able to pay two money, two coins, to place one clan of my on my uh, homeland or on a city I control, if I have cities. Because at the beginning you won't have any cities and you will build them as the game progresses. So I will perform all of my growth actions at the same time. I will do them all, then pass up to the next player. They will do all of their growth actions. Then the next player and so on and so forth. Once everyone has done their growth actions, we will move on to uh, the, the next step, which is expansion. And expansion kind of follows the same rules. You have a different symbol for expansion. So this is uh, that symbol with, uh, with arrows. And you will unlock an extraction, which is paying for moves. And the expansion cards are going to give you some moves as well. So a move is basically uh, moving one clan, one space. And that's one move. And if I have six moves, for example, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, because I have a stack of two. So uh, obviously you will be able to move to place your clans wherever you want them to be, uh, to be able to colonize better in the next round and to, to make combos with your cards. Be uh, very careful because sometimes your opponents will be there and sometimes you will want to capture some things from them. So for example, let's, let's imagine I'm there and they have a city here. Let's imagine we were in this situation. Now everyone has performed their, uh, their actions for the expansion phase, we are going to move on to the assault phase. So the assault phase is going to be resolved with this chip, which is either peace or war. So everyone is going to hide that chip and reveal it simultaneously. If everyone selected peace, the, this phase ends and we move on to the next age. If someone selected war, they want to perform one assault and then they will then we will perform the, another reveal of those chips. So let's imagine I want war, I want to wage war on the black player here. So I will uh, select my attacking area, I will select uh, my, oppo my opponent, and I will be able to remove forces from him. So in this case, um, th they have one city and two clans. So I will be able to remove their clans, w one clan that I remove from them, is one clan that I removed from my own stack. And I will be able to do that any, any number of times I want. Now they have a city, so I may be able to 
remove one of my clients to convert that city because it's empty to one of mine. And finally, I can move that remaining uh, clan to that new area. Okay, I can leave it here. That's basically the gist of an assault. The uh, defender doesn't do anything except if they have reaction cards in hand, which they can play to defend better. So obviously, if you choose a peacemaker strategy, you want to, to keep those defense cards because they help you against your aggressors. So that's it for uh, Assault. Once everyone votes for peace, we move on to the end of round. And the end of round is very simple. You're going to score points for the light bulbs that you have in the cards you played. And also, with the, you, you are going to get victory points and additional abilities from some cards which have a little castle icon. And then you're going to move on to the next age and to the next age. And at the end of the third age, you are going to score the victory points for all of the players. So you will uh, have a notepad, a score pad, and you will total up the scores you will have uh, scored during the ages. And also you're going to score points if you control uh, areas in places that are not your continent and not Genesia. And then you're going to score every area that you control according to the printed value. Then you total all of those scores up with your secret objective and that makes you final victory point total. If you have the highest, congratulations, you won the game of Genesia. So this is a game in which you have to decide while drafting, you decide on one strategy and you have to implement it fully with the different orders, the move orders, the growth orders. And you have to, com uh, to combine the cards and the money you have at your disposal to win the game. That's it, folks. Bye-bye. See you on Ludo Rose